great. Yes. My name is Daniel. I'm one of the organizers of Communal Presence. Poets Theater performances, Carla Harriman's Hannah Cudden, Kevin Killian and Brian Kim Steffens, The American Objectivists, and Camille Roy's Sometimes Dead is Better. Um, there's one note to the program, which is the uh, parts listed for John Raskin will be played by Andrew Smith and Hannah Cudden. Um, we'll be proceeding without an intermission. And Hannah Cudden is dedicated to Atal Adnan and Simone Fatal. One other note is to please join us uh, at 7.30 for um, a marathon reading at back at Wheeler Hall. We'll be serving dinner, um, and we'll be heading there right when this is over. So, see you there. the valise in one hand and another. And walking down steps in a station, tracks get higher above an ocean of sound coming from below. Passing for noise, it's noise. And quivering, I took the typewriter no. It was a pen in the Ashbury poem. Note a tidbit of homely scenes in night typing. A neutral air, water, water running, sounds of the bed made momentously as a stooge with big glasses sleeping in it. It is impossible that our mothers would ever be. Speaking, we are to make a poet. Hannah and Marian or someone here in and out of the field. Or futurologists and pseudo voices. Hannah and Marian or Simone appear in and out of the field of futurologists. Their vision will be banned, dramatically speaking. Pseudo voices. The play lights out in several directions as Hannah interrupts. Put down the valises. It is impossible that our mothers would ever be. Here, one for you, one for me, and the third between. paints a green ghost in a red alarm that fades. A it is impossible. Ocean depths. That our mother it is zero voice to ever meet. In the era of oof. A fantasia. Down those stairs is no man's land. Water blushes. A descent sly or ironic surface, a bit resonant with water stains, behaviors that might Pseudo seem voices uncharacteristic. chiming in. Oof. Behaviors that might seem uncharacteristic. Marion desires company, but never makes more out of it than what it is. Her inner life is just her business. She enjoys Hannah's regard for distance, though she would prefer that what stands between her and another remain undescribed. Therefore, she doesn't speak easily. Is there something she wishes to get across? Something the she wishes to get across? Or the sun Mary won't say she is distracted by the sun. The silence. Likes to keep her distance. But she is in truth distracted by things. Uh, the timer is set at three minutes. Beginning. 2.5 minutes. 
seven minutes, four minutes, six minutes, five, and 2.5 minutes. With? And this is the prologue. Cats, blues, and stitches. Pseudo voice. Events, by definition, are occurrences that interrupt routine processes and routine procedures. Pseudo voice as snake or sneak in the grass. The futurologists inner shyly, inner slyly, wonder if there's a way to take everything back. Pseudo voice. Hannah, Hannah and, and Marion converse under a canopy, under a canopy of, fiction of fictional intimacy, intimacy, keeping the futurologists at bay. For a minute or so, so they, they are able, able to hold them off. Uh, the typewriter keys denote the primordial sounds of happiness. Hannah, only in a world in which nothing of importance ever happens could the futurologist's dream come true. <laughs> Marion, in a world in which only the futurologist's dreams come true, nothing impromptu happens. In a world come true, the futurologists come true. The dream of importance comes true. Nothing ever happens, and only the world dreams true futurologists. Pseudo voice. Events, by definition, are occurrences that interrupt routine processes and routine procedures. Pseudo voice is fresh off the rack. Futurologists, inner shyly, inner slyly, wonder if there's a way to take everything back. Pseudo voice. Only in a world in which nothing of importance ever happens could the futurologist's dream come true. And a world in which only the futurologist Nothing impromptu happens. In a world come true, the futurologists come true. The dream of importance comes true. Nothing ever happens. And only a world dreams true futurologists. Pseudo voice as snake or sneak in the grass. Who are you? Let's do it again. Okay, the futurologists inner shyly inner slyly, wonder if there's a way to take all of it back. If the band was on 2005 and it's 2006, this is a scene band, of futurologists. Now on 2006. If the band was on 2006 and it's now 2007, the band will be on 2007. If the band was on 2007 and it's now 2008, the band will be on 2008. If the band was on 2008 and it's 2009, the band will be on 2009. If there was a band on 2009, it's now 2008. And the band will be on 2011. Well, so there's no difference. It's yeah, the band will be on 2009. With being banned, it might be a little different. 2018 might be a little thick. 2019, thicker. Yeah, 2020 thicker than 2019. Though it's still comparable to 2019 and 2021. Will it be a hair's? Will be a hair's breadth thicker than 2020, which is a hair's breadth thicker than 2019, and a hair's breadth thinner than 2021. You.
sees 2025 as a declarative year. 2026 tells us that 2025 tells us it all happened here. 2027 finds us here and begins to characterize the future. 2028 will be a year, a singular year. 2029 will know it, will envy it, will count it, will compare it, will transgress it, will table and bracket it, it and will surrender to it and defy, defy, defy. Defy, defy, defy. 2030 will know it and look at it. 2031, 2031, 2031. Look beyond and know. If the beyond it sees is forward or backward. 2032 will study the problem. The frame is left open. open. As 2033 is the year in which the study is made, 2034 will have people in it, and they will have names. 2035 will name names. Um, and all. 2036 will discover the following regarding the banned years. Mourning, sickness, singing, the missing person. Expressions of great people. 2037 will approach the word ban as an object of fascination and terror and will make a bargain with the future in declaring it an object worth remembering and knowing. 2038 will initiate the ban on banning. 2039 will ineffectively contest the ban on banning. 2040 will see fighting through the thin walls. 2039. 2041 will predict the walls are thinning. 2042 will declare the room is not a room. But that there it was no causal relationship between the predicted thinning and the room being not one. 2042 will break down the details of the dispute to show that the room was a room, leaving the remains for the poets, the pots in the sink, the linings of truth, the sparrows, the dog the ages, the frozen forgotten, the refusal of assimilation, the refusal of assimilation, and open arrangement. After the door closed. Hannah. Um. What year? Owen. Those improvisers are not the futurologists I had critiqued. Marion. Whoever follows them is deluded. Do you ever free associate a plaid and a dent, a dent and a pleat, feather for flight? An open arrangement after the doors close. Hannah, my purpose is to make sense of things. But this current environment is difficult to get to know. There is something poetic about our meeting place, a canopy of haunts that may confuse your futurologists. In poetry, the gloom of their nothing covers around the excitement of their something, yet I find myself embarrassed about the crisis of everything. Gloom. Yes, I would say that their hypothetical so-called facts and predictions are gloomy, but worse than that. Well, I don't know. They make me nervous. Think tank pollution, greed is good, it makes me feel stuck somewhere between the past and the future. When I went away to war, I was at home at my desk, if you get my drift. An interruption of the course of daily life, interfering in the cycle of biological life processes. It turns out to have been a good time to be a woman. When was it that you were in Vienna? I was there once. I could say that I can't agree with you all. I was in Vienna in 1933, having been caught for distributing anti-Nazi pamphlets. Pseudo voice. Futurologists. The canopy is as light as violence rushing. Storm drains. In 1906. 
six. Cut. Cut. Experience. Experience. Out. Don't listen to Marion. Unless you she is are not interested in your knowing she wasn't, she wasn't born, born yet. And then who is born? As one. Not giving orders. Influencing or executing obeying. or obeying them. Hannah offers Marion. Hannah of offers of Marion a woman sandwich of paraphrases, a sandwich of paraphrases, a cigarette. Or was it the other way round? Kind of thinks about what it means to be on receiving you know, any such gifts. Well, year difference in people age. very enthusiastic, and I was probably there is a blackout. Pause. A cyclist cut. The a cigarette is light. We see that one is nervously snapping. The other one tends to think in a reclining position. Typing. One tends to think in a reclining position. Which is which? You mean who is he? Who is nervous and shy? Who corrects her posture? One is snacking on cigarettes. One is, one your, is mother. your mother. And one is the other. But who is who? Filtered through a canopy of smoke, obscured and nuanced, each indulges in a bit of snapping, a bit of piping. But never the same way. Never. never. The eucalyptus collapses in the street and is replaced by a palm. A newspaper rustles against the frequencies of the television. Really, the rabbit hole waits for you. The dark human heart is inaccessible. That's a thought never spoken between them. But you can find it, find it in print. print. In parallel, Hannah types her reportage, her observations, her discernments regarding social decay, evil, the roots of mass, the alteration of rotting processes by the miraculous interference of beginnings. Hobbies under communism, the modern enchantment, small, small things. Things. The rest of what's bringing us down. The silent remains of its removal. And Marion hunts and pecks out some dog wool by Vita Mina. Marion hunts and, and picks some in a memoir. Doggerel about collecting Japanese prints. By winter dinner, she found reprinted in a memoir about Japanese prints. There came a man to our town, and he was wondrous wise. He jumped on every suffragist and scratched out both her eyes. He did the same to Lincoln, for freedom makes him blue. But Lincoln has survived it, the suffragists will too. Seen with voice in a museum. Is this play about the impossibility of personal experience from the perspective of grand ideas? Or the other way around? The impossibility of big ideas from the perspective of personal experience? 
the gash between them gushing with neo-expressionist wishes. Francesco Clemente. I used to work in the other building. Objects above and below the galleries, as well as the administrative dramas, the boardroom strategies and tangles, the jangle of these human and institutional dynamics. They're mixing together under the pressure of the divergent interests to which the museum responds were magnified for me in the silence of art. Within artistic mediums, silence is associated I with negative spaces in visual art and poetry and with the stop or pause of music. Threshold. Thinking about something or someone else, it is unclear to me whether it is she or her art that shadows the shaping of this scene number five. I am thinking about Simone's doors. The clay forms are narrow and of unequal height. Their tops lopsided as if straped by war or touched by time. They are lined up in a descending order. The scaled doors become as musical and temporal as they are spatial and tactile. They are lined up in descending order, as I said, and they hover between concept, story, ancient history, and now between remnant of and passageway to a lost interior, a pleasure, a secret, a statelessness. Silence may be perceived as an absence in an otherwise sound-filled chamber. are indications of the regions of thought that time sculpts through Syrian tragedy and Mesopotamian afterlife between integral and integral, between progression and procession. The things in the museum condense into an impression vaulted the ceilings and microphones or the disuse of them. Somewhere there may be a painting in which a spiral jets off to the left side of a canvas. Any of these written notes could be sonic cues. Or Hannah, a narrative, silence is a of a secret with a vision. and its discovery. Or the notes just hang out where they are, like a spiral jetting off to the left side of a canvas. This particular spiral possibly doesn't exist, or it is reintroduced. It is reintroduced as the name of an African-American artist collective in the 1960s. Spiral. It may signal a painting, politics, system, or it devolves as replica, the replica, the replica, with the signature, the microphone, the reverb, and the pervert. In psychoanalytic theory, silence is associated with a myriad of concepts which renders the lost object inaccessible to the language of psychic processing about modern projection of contemporary art. It is noted that Hannah Arendt this is not a much to say about modern contemporary art. In psychoanalytic theory, and silence this is, is associated with a myriad of concepts which renders the lost object inaccessible to the language of psychic but it's Second not really a gold for us about Hannah and I asked about the crisis. So Hannah cuts in. So I packed I was holding them one in each hand behind the sofa where my mother sat watching television. The small black one contained the story of my life to date. And, and the larger large one, which you could still, still tuck under a seat or in a small baggage, baggage compartment held, in, held in, in the other. other. I wasn't I was really thinking about this really being lost thinking thinking about the She was watching television. Silence. She was watching television. Close up of an attorney. Cut to the 
that occur within the communal interior. See. Who descends the stairs over the cave? A pale green ghost in nature's red square, or an archaeological virtue descending and alongside the blushing water. The sun and the moon Metaphors older than someday. They were the shade and the thought. She came upon a tidbit of homely scenes. Hannah and Marion appear in and out of a field of futurologists and pseudo voices. She took them to the home of the sun and the moon where she herself resided placing them on the shelves that supported and enhanced them. And only somebody else can know the distance between the sun and the moon, where everything, the apartment, the shelves, the objects, and the people living in the rooms, in and around them, something hard to imagine, perhaps, the word happy, the lava of their rebellion, a little dangerous aspect of a person, not appearing as a lump, not being spoken of as an object. Each subject turns herself into another at times. Having seen more than one police, having dropped in a minute what was about to happen in the future, the future she was bringing after the invasion, after the trips, after the systematically planned no man's plan, which doesn't fit the bookshelves. The arrangement of no man's land. It was clear, it was planned, the entire Arab world was, was to become no man's land. And it was the year 1961, and it was the year 2002, something looming at the base of the categories. Which even the date 1948 doesn't quite fasten to each of us still living, threaded, through it. Let her explain.
like this from children. Yes. Yeah. He is doing Hello. Yeah.